Yeah, I'm gonna get it. So it! I'm that type of neighbor. Comment down below. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a vlog. I know I for sure want to put up my um, fall decor. A few people out here in my apartment complex got their fall stuff up, so it's making me really wanna get into the spirit. Um, and plus it is September 13th today, so I think fall actually starts on September 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. So um, yeah, I do have a return for cold y'all probably like oh my gosh like I, stuff just gonna be working out so i got this this is gonna be a return to cold do i go to cold today um i just ran out of deodorant dove deodorant i still got some gel deodorant but i want like the powder kind so i need to run into tarjay to get some deodorant um i think that's all i need um i do need some more hand sanitizer the touchland kind but we can wait on that because i got some from bath and body works Bay is supposed to be he's been staying with me every single day <laughs> um so he's at his friend house right now he'll be back in about an hour or so and i need him to help me with um another one of my collabs he gotta like record me outside doing stuff or whatever so yeah if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so yeah we're just gonna go with the vibes today um like i said i for sure know i want to oh, i forgot my water i might have to buy some water from target or somewhere I for sure want to put up my fall decor. Um, I do need to pack. Me and Bay are going to do a little weekend getaway. So when I get back, we're going to pack. I do got a new suitcase that I want to show y'all. So hopefully that works out really well. I'm going to take that on our little weekend getaway. Um, and yeah, we're just going to come back home and get with the fall vibes, basically. I kind of want to dip on dabble into home goods and stuff to look at the fall stuff. But you know what? We're not even going to do it because I do got some stuff to do. And I already got fall stuff at home. So I do want to pull out everything that I know I do have. And then whatever I may want to add, then we'll just go find something. So I did want to give y'all an update, though, really quickly. It's kind of hot. Um my air y'all know my air has been it's been going in and out for about three to four months but it completely shut off and would not come back on i literally got it on and it's not even blowing um like mid july so it is a recall i don't know what sequence or order my video is going to be in but i did talk about it in one of my other vlogs the productive vlog um there's a recall on the 2021 and 2022 hvac six system so i did call i got an appointment on monday for them to do a free diagnostic exam so super excited about that super excited that i didn't just go ahead and do it myself and spend like six seven hundred dollars out of pocket and then have to worry about like the claims and all of that crap so yeah that's what we're doing today i'm super excited um my appointment is at like 10 in the morning on monday so last time they told me they were going to have my car for about three days but we'll see um i am off work i don't gotta work so they can keep my car as long as they need only thing is i got a doctor's appointment and i also have um prince got a doctor's appointment just little stuff like that um that i gotta um go to next week so hopefully they don't keep my car too long but i'm gonna stop yapping and turn my music on and we about to go to Coles real quick just left charge got my deodorant i just got the two pack of dove powder um can we talk about it because why did deodorant just cost me dang near eight dollars you gotta be kidding me and i gotta wipe off my glasses because it's starting to sprinkle outside let me scan my um receipt in my little fetch rewards app how about so my cousin diana her best friend shira um she told me little heck when you get gas, you know how you can get a receipt at the pump. You can also go in and get a receipt and then you can scan it and it takes both of them. Y'all better get it to it. <laughs> I said, girl, not you put me on. That's what I'm talking about. So we about to go to Coles right now. Literally no one in this parking lot can park. Everyone is parking literally insane. And I'm about to get away from everybody because if you can't park, I mean, you don't care. And that's just dead. That's cause it can handle the price of fame. We will Let's go back to the house. Um, went and checked my mail. I had my Ipsy package, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this real quickly. And then I'm gonna open up my new suitcase and 
get some clothes together for a little getaway over the weekend. All right, I did take a peek. I always take a peek, but then I end up forgetting literally what all I got. So I'm gonna wait to open that. Um, the bag this month, I mean, it's okay. It's nothing too crazy. I've had cuter. Okay, first thing I got is a, <laughs> what is this? Use Glide over eyelids for instant color pop. So I guess it's supposed to be like a easy eyeshadow. What I got is the Saturday Skin, a bright eye cream. Oh my gosh, thank you, Lord. I've definitely been needing this. Y'all know I got that vitamin um, C serum from Marshalls, but honey, I've really been trying to brighten up my under eye. It definitely got brightened. It brightened up a little bit, but I'm super excited for that. Creating Sugar Body Scrub. Love that. Yes, uh, please don't be more highlighter. I got to go in there and tell them, stop sending me highlighter. Because I don't even wear highlighter like that. And I definitely don't care for liquid highlighter. So, definitely need to go in there and tell them. Okay. Ooh, this is a Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Period. That's what I'm talking about. So I like everything in my box, um, except for the highlighter. I'm kind of tired of that. I would much rather um, have mascara. Only thing is these little bitty ass jars, like this could have been a little bit bigger. Come on now. But I mean, what am I paying? Like $12, $13. So I guess it's not bad just to try new products, but I'll probably keep it for the rest of this year and then chill out on it for a few months and then pick it back up. We'll see. But I like everything in here. I'm excited about this vitamin E cream. So we actually about to just go ahead and pop a little bit this on right now. How about that? Yeah. And I need to go get my nails done. It's just, girl, I got so much other stuff to do. And I don't feel like sitting in the nail salon. Especially not on a Friday. You know, the weekends, they be busy. Okay. I like. I'll say the one from Marshalls um, is less thick. This is a thicker consistency. All right, it's 12.36. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox my new suitcase and start packing for a little getaway trip that I keep talking about. As well as here's my new suitcase. This part of the video is sponsored by Level 8. So thank you so much Level 8 for sponsoring this portion of the video. They are nice enough to send me over a brand new suitcase that I'm super excited about. I cannot wait to get it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox her. I was sent the Vogue Collection suitcase in the biggest size, I believe, which is their checked 30 inch in black. I absolutely love how sturdy it is and how quiet the 360 degree spinner wheels glide across the floor. If you don't have a 360 suitcase, then baby, what are you doing? <laughs> this is by far the smoothest suitcase I've ever had. This is the tag that tells you how to reset the lock and the numbers and a little bit more info about the suitcase. I absolutely love the wide handle on this and that's what makes this stand out amongst other brands and it makes it super easy to travel this is german made and tsa approved of course and right here i'm just showing you guys how easy it is to snap these in place and then i didn't change the lock because i'm going to let my boyfriend do that um, and see what code he wants to use but it's easy to just go ahead and change the lock code it is automatically set to a zero now let's get into the inside of this suitcase as you can see it is very spacious and i love this mesh material once you open this side you will see that it comes with an interior compression system for a neat and secure stowing and organizing this side has two expansion compartments for all of your essentials i love the dry wet separation pockets for smart cleaning organization i recommend to put your liquids at the top because obviously as you can see it is a lot easier to be able to clean that up i just put socks panties underwears in the second compartment and then just filled up the rest of the suitcase as needed i just wanted to kind of show you guys how much you can fit on the inside as always all of my links and codes will be down below in the description box and on the screen i believe my code is akira 10 so thank you so much level 8 for sponsoring this portrait on the video i absolutely love this suitcase it is by far the best suitcase that i've ever had it is huge i love this wide handle and it makes taking if you have like a carry-on i decided to go ahead and pair my um mark jacobs tote bag on top of that it is so easy to store things on top of this absolutely love thank you so much guys go check it out
Okay, so I got all of my little fall decor and stuff out of my storage. If y'all hear something, that's my heater. I am freezing. It literally says it's 73 degrees, but the wind and stuff is blowing. There's no sun out. It's been raining for the past two days here. And I bought this off of Amazon. I take it to work with me. I took it to work with me once. And then I know I wasn't going to be at work for like the next week or two. So I decided to just bring it back home with me. Um, and I'm glad I did because it's cold as hell in here. I don't want my apartment to be hot. I think I got my stuff is only set to like 72 and it's still freezing in here. So yeah, sorry about the lighting. <clears throat> Can't really remember all what I got. I did show y'all this when I took this out. This is the sign that I put outside my door somewhere. Um, <laughs> just says hello fall. I don't really remember where I got that from. And then y'all know I love these little bags from Ikea. So we're gonna get into this one. I kind of have two different bags. This bag is more so fall decor. Um, the one that's down on the ground is heavy. That one is my more spooky Halloween-ish, I guess, decor, if you will. So since it's September, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this stuff up. Um, I have like orange lights and stuff that I put out on my balcony for specifically like Halloween and stuff like that. But I forgot I got these. Um, I don't know if I kept these in my house or outside. These were from Pop Shelf. They were on sale for like a penny or like a dollar. Um, last year so I got a really really good deal on that I don't know I may keep them inside I can't remember if I did inside or outside y'all know I love my little apron it just says thankful blessed and pumpkin obsessed and then it's cute with little bitty pumpkins and stuff on it so I like to just put all of this out for the season I may have to wash this good morning y'all it's the next day it is saturday september 14th 12:47 in the afternoon now um you can see i got on my robe i'm dressed i got on a shirt and some shorts but it is so cold in here um outside it is 77 degrees the highest only going to be 81 but i think i told y'all that it's been storming and stuff like that so it's literally honestly really no sun out like it's daylight but it's not really much sun so we're not really getting any heat um nose kind of stuffy here and there um so i just feel like the weather changing and then my house i don't want to put it so hot because like i said i still get hot sometimes at night but yeah i just been wearing a robe throughout the day this is what my best friend got me for christmas and one of my birthdays um and then y'all know i've been using that heater as well so i just did my hair about an hour or so ago put this on just so it can lay down i do need to re-wash it and put on some leave-in conditioner and stuff like on my actual puff but we just laid down the top um i just wanted to get on and just vlog for today i put up all of my fall decor most of it um i gotta clean up because me and babe was in here chilling watching tv and stuff but y'all saw what i did yesterday i think i'm gonna go ahead and wash those um towels because they've been in the storage and stuff so i just want those to be clean <clears throat> this is the stuff that used to be out there so i'm gonna put that in that white bag and then just keep that and then all the stuff that's in this bag is um like halloween stuff so i don't know if we're gonna do that now or not like i can go ahead and put up like the orange lights on my balcony and all of that type of jazz that literally was a real cool vibe last year i may go ahead and finish out my balcony um even though i am gonna move next year but i'll probably go ahead and finish it since i got everything right here um 
yeah i'll probably go to the store maybe like this weekend or something and try to find some more fall stuff um but i gotta do a lot of laundry and just picking up little things around the house so and i'm tired like i'm extremely tired um and like i said the weather has just been messing with me it'll be warm it'll be hot it'll be cold it's been raining and it's it's just been a lot right now prince is at my mom's house so i do gotta go pick him up later today so i've been going back and forth with this company um actually a few companies because <clears throat> so i've been going back and forth with a few companies because they on my nerves trying not to pay me when i send the unlisted video so if y'all care about the whole content aspect and getting paid and things like that and you can listen i just gotta rent and tell somebody <laughs> so specifically i think this blog will have a collab this collab is i think it's gonna be cool anyways i'm talking about timu i'm just gonna say it i don't care i had worked with them last year and they literally paid me after the unlisted video i posted a video the next day now they're like oh it's gonna take five to 15 days and then another lady came on another colleague was like oh 15 to 30 days i'm like what um of course i know there is some um payments that have like net 30 accounts and things like that as you grow and get you know bigger collabs and all kind of stuff like that it will take 30 days to get paid and things like that but you need to tell me that from the jump don't have me do all this work rushing me doing this and that going through all these loops and you still not even gonna pay me until after 30 days and not tell me that and then i'm like oh we're so sorry you know we didn't tell like so don't be scared to go back and forth with these brands um i did that with three brands two out of the three actually pay me um what some companies do they'll pay 50 percent after the unlisted video and then the other 50 percent once the video is public um so one company did that the other company went ahead and just paid me because yeah and then timu i'm like i can send the clothes back and we can just be done so now they're like well you can just keep the clothes you know if you don't want to wait or whatever the time you can just keep it as a gift and you know sorry we'll like try to collaborate in the future or whatever like that so i'm like you know what I already got the clothes i'm about to re-record the portion though because i think what i recorded from them was like damn near nine minutes long and i'm like they literally asked for three and y'all are already trying to pay me 30 damn near 30 days later yeah y'all are getting three minutes so i'm about to re-record that whole little like clothing haul footage for like three to four minutes tops um and i plan to put that in the video that i want to post tomorrow like i don't care at this point um and then yeah and then i'll just fill out the stuff so they can pay me because i'm like i was going to show the clothes anyway like i'm going to be wearing them so i might as well get paid like yeah it sucks that i can't get freaking paid when i want to get paid but it's, it's just on my nerves so I, I just have to say that um i have been going back and forth with these companies so i switched my little um like when companies email me i have like a email script that i already have typed out in my notes um for various things so my main one i went ahead and added that i prefer to be paid through paypal and the payment has to be paid after the unlisted video is approved or we can do the 50 50 thing that's cool too um because i have and the reason why i used to not really trip but this one company damn near forgot to pay me and i've been trying to contact them for a whole month literally and what what collab was that oh my new office chair if you guys watched that video literally i was emailing them three weeks straight nothing hurt nothing back from them and the video was already you know like girl that's why i don't got time for stuff like that y'all are gonna pay me and i understand what they mean too like they'll pay some influencers and stuff and then the influencers will um literally not go through with the collab and stuff but that's also why these companies y'all need to have a contract in place like every single contract sometimes i don't do contracts like they don't require one but i feel like everybody should have a contract because it just saves both of our asses you know um and if y'all feel that way and if y'all have had influencers run off on y'all why would y'all not have a contract you know so that's why i always offer the 50 50 like y'all can pay me 50 percent now and 50 percent after you know um which i mean i feel i still feel like influencers can get off on that as well but i'm like i'm not like that so that's why i'm like i really do like when they do have a contract in place because it just saves both of us and then if that contract be like um pay after the video already nope um everything looks good but the payment <laughs> and then they'll go in and change it so 
as so as long as you have a contract i feel like you good like you're getting sued you know if you do that so i just have to say that because they've been pissing me off for literally a week straight i've been going back and forth with timu for so long so i'm just about to record this little three minute intro to this um collab i'm gonna put it in the vlog that i want to post tomorrow and that's just gonna be that and then i do got a cruise that i go to in october so i probably have that money by the time the cruise come i'll just use it as like free money for that i guess but yeah i'm so annoyed um i'm hungry as well i don't really know what i want hey y'all today is september 24th tuesday to be exact it's 2 39 in the evening i just left my amazon little hub at the office almost passed out it's so hot um it's only let me see it's supposed to be raining all week but it hasn't rained it's 83 degrees so it's supposed to be raining right now so it's not supposed to be that high uh but yeah the high is 73 80 all week but i'm about to go ahead and unbox this um it's been a few days since i talked to y'all on this vlog so today I'm going to unbox all the stuff that I just bought. I bought all this last night, actually, so it was able to be delivered one day. Love Amazon. I wanted to give y'all a little update. Don't mind the way I look my hair and stuff. I've been going through it, y'all. <laughs> I've been tired. Just enjoying my little off days from my job. Um, my car is still in the shop at Kia. I turned my car in. Today is Tuesday. I turned my car in last Monday for the um, recall with my ear. Y'all know it's just stopped working out of nowhere like two months ago. So they are fixing it. They did the free diagnostic test. Um, now they're just waiting on to basically fix it, like to get the okay clear that it's going to be covered under one of my warranties. I have two. I have my actual warranty when I got the car. And then since they got a recall, that's another warranty that they gave, like extended. So basically it's trying to figure out to cover one of those. It's really annoying because it's like, if I was paying my money, this would have been done in like three to four days. But since everything is free, they're just gonna take their time. Um, I did ask about a rental car. Rental car, $45 a day. And then she was like, well, once they accept to basically fix your car for free under the warranty, then you can get a rental car for free under the warranty. But it just have to all be accepted first. So I don't get a car <laughs> um, because it has to be accepted. I'm so over Kia. Um, that's why I do want a luxury car. I know some people was like, obviously the cost and things like that with maintenance, but I'm like, my Kia yeah, is costing me the same. It's like I had a damn Benz. Like I'm paying the same amount of money for a Kia. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, I don't want no Benz though, but y'all know I want a Porsche or something like that. So. I'm just trying to just relax, take some time to just enjoy my time at home. But baby, I don't understand how people with no car do it. Like ha having to rely on other people. And it's not even that like people, you know, don't want to help me like take me places. It's just everybody got their own schedule. And I personally don't like to be on other people's time. I just don't. Um, so I just like to get up and go wherever I need. So yeah, like I can't get up, go get my nails done. Um, literally had to put all of these boxes in a freaking Ikea bag, heavy as hell, and carry this all the way from my office and walk it back. Um, my boyfriend has been up here every day, but I guess his phone is dead. And this is stuff that I really do need like right now. So I can't wait until he come over like tomorrow or something. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a huge inconvenience not having your car and not having a rental at that. So. I just don't see how people without no car, how y'all make it. Like, I really don't. It's, it's, it's hard out here. <laughs> so, I haven't been to work, thank God. Um, so, I don't got to worry about that. But even then, I do have a friend that stay here, Janae, um, co-worker and friend. She works day shift now. And y'all know I work night shift. We work 12-hour shifts. So, that just doesn't work. And she has a little girl. So, it's just been a lot going on. That's why I haven't been vlogging because, one, I can't go nowhere <laughs> unless my man here like it, it's just a lot don't have my car um it's, it's just a whole bunch of stuff going on i thought this was going to be bigger this is actually honestly really tiny i wanted a reef for my door um i don't know if there was a size that i could select but baby girl this is really tiny so i may try to 
hot glue this back right here. It looked like it came off from right here. Um, so I may try to hot glue that back, but for right now I'm gonna put it in my little centerpiece. But I think, um, yeah, I got a timer on here. So one is timer, two is on, three is off. I don't know if I gotta put in batteries. I don't have a fall wreath. I do have a spring summertime wreath and a Christmas wreath. Yeah, I gotta put in some batteries. So um, I decided to buy one. It was on sale for like $17. So I guess I can't really complain. They take double A batteries. So I'm excited they don't take triple because I have a ton of double A batteries. Oh, that's cute. Period. My wreath better than everybody else outside because mine light up. I'm that type of neighbor. Comment down below. <laughs> If y'all be not really trying to outdo your neighbors, but like, you know your decor look better than theirs. Yeah, okay. So, I guess that's on. That's off. And then I don't know how long the timer is, but I'm going to just keep that on. Um, and then I'm just going to let this hang from back here. And I'm going to put this on my door. Maybe hang it like that so you can't see it. We'll see how long it stay on. It's 2.45 right now, so I'm going to peek outside and see how long it stay on, or I may just look on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my door. It's cute. This one is the big boy. This is like literally random household items. Like I said, my car is still in the shop. It's been there for a week and a day. So my boyfriend has been doing like my Walmart pickups and you know, helped me out a lot, but I just needed this stuff like right now and Amazon has the Amazon basics. So you can get your stuff literally the next day, next morning. So I got a six pack of Amazon tissue. Hopefully that's some good tissue because I just ran out of uh, toilet paper. And then I needed some more disinfectant wipes. So I just got the Amazon Basics brand. This was actually pretty affordable, 85 in each one. I think that's a pretty good steal. Um, so I'm going to keep one in every room. I'm going to put it in my my bathroom, guest bathroom, and my kitchen. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to always get a three pack to keep them in each room so I don't gotta, so my boyfriend ain't gotta ask where stuff is and so I don't gotta be moving stuff back and forth. And then I did get some more Febreze plugins. Mine are out already. And I also got, like I said, random but necessities. Um, a pack of 100 party cups. I don't really care about the colors. Um, the color ones, party cups are actually cheaper than like the regular red ones. So I always get the party cups cause they be hidden in my um, cabinet anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm tired of doing dishes. Um, I'm tired. So I got plastic spoons, plates. Well, I don't got no more plates. I got to buy some more of those. But I got cups, plastic, silverware, all of that. And I think I want to go ahead and cook with y'all in this vlog. And that'll be the end of this one. I want to make roasted potatoes, steak bites, and I'm thinking um, some collard greens. I did just buy some collard greens about two days ago. So I need to hurry up and cook those. So I think I want to go ahead and cook with y'all and kind of meal prep. Um, like I said, I'm I'm tired of cooking. I'm tired of doing everything right now. I just want to relax. That's why I can't wait until um, our cruise. It's going to be me and my man, my best friend and her husband, and then like his parents and stuff like that. It's just going to be, it's just going to be a relaxing week. It's literally a week long cruise, Sunday to Saturday. So <clears throat> um, I haven't really decided if I want to vlog or not. Like I know I'm going to vlog, but it may not be because at first I was like, okay, I can vlog like day one and two. Day one is going to be, you know, at sea, getting used to everything. Day two, we're going to be in Jamaica. And then day three, out at sea, and then we're going to be in, it's either Mexico or somewhere else, and then see them, you know. So I was going to kind of split up the days, but I really just want to relax. Um, so I'm probably just going to take my small DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera and just record a little bit of clips here and there and kind of just maybe make it into one vlog like my travel prep and then the, I don't know we'll see um because I don't want to just not vlog at all because obviously this is memories for me like my whole YouTube is based off me creating memories and having these lifelong memories so I can look back at them and different milestones and stuff and like I said this is gonna be my first cruise and his first cruise so I definitely want to vlog but it may not be too much for YouTube you know just so I can still relax and stuff so <laughs>